Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie, I'm an independent sense consultant, but you probably already know that. Today, I want to talk about systems. I know, and hang on for a second, because I personally get super overwhelmed when somebody says, you need to put systems in place. I'm such a sporadic person that when somebody says that I have to commit to a certain process, it freaks me out a little bit, I'll be honest. Until I realized that I have a system and you probably have a system. And so I wanna to talk to you guys today about systems in your business. What those can look like, what they might not look like. Um, and I want you to not be scared of them. Don't be fearful of them because ultimately it will help you build a business. It will help you stay a little organized. Um, there's just something to be said about systems. And if there was a different word for it, I would use it. Process, processes, uh, to-dos, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Call it, I got to do that list. <laughs> right? Okay. I have seen many people training on systems, follow-up systems, for instance, um, where it was very legitimized, meaning that two, two, two system, um, or, you know, this happens and this happens and this happens. I, if you do not have that straight in your head, it's okay. I'm here to tell you that it's not going to break the system. <laughs> it's not going to break your business if you don't have it all straight in your head. And this is the reason why. I used to send a thank you, still do, every time somebody placed an order with me. That is a system. That's a process. Didn't realize. It was just courtesy for me to say thank you when somebody placed an order. In, you know, three to six months from now, after they place the order, a lot of times I'll just connect with them and say, hey, do you need refills? That's a system. If it's three or six months or even four months, who cares, right? Who, who cares? Don't get bogged down in the logistics of it has to be two weeks, two months, two years. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I'm going to just say, don't let it go. They ordered today and two years from now, you're following up with them. You know, you may not want to do that, right? That's just not good business. Um, but to, to say that you have to be specific on the day, you have to be specific on the month or how you connect with them. That's really, I, I don't, I don't think you need to put that much pressure on yourself. You know, what if you text them? one time and you email them the second time or maybe you pick up the phone and you actually call them the third time or a mix of that it's all okay and it's all going to be good for your business I'm gonna tell you that the only system that I do not approve of is doing nothing not sure that that's a system but some people it is I believe that communication and connection are vital to your business. And so how you do that, how often you do that, really doesn't matter as long as you're doing it. And I'm gonna give you an example. I've done events in my past where I would do like a fair and a show or something like that, and I would collect information from people that were in attendance, that maybe shopped my booth, and I would never follow up. I wouldn't call, I wouldn't email, I wouldn't text. They would just sit with the information on that slip. And I've done videos about that before and I own up to it. But even though it took me, in some cases, two or three years before I followed up with those people, there were some that were so happy to hear from me that even though it took me that long, the fact that I did it gained me some new customers. Now, did I potentially lose some customers because I wasn't really good at and consistent about my follow-up? Maybe, maybe, 
right? And that's not the best way to do business. But I chose to go back and I chose to look at those slips and I chose to follow up with them, even if it was a year, two years, three years later, at least I did it, right? And so when you're talking about systems, one, consistency is going to be great. It's gonna be your best friend. Two, the fact that you're just doing it, whether it's in a uniformed manner, doesn't really matter as long as you're doing it, okay? So that's the message that I wanna get across today. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed with, I have to do this system because so-and-so is doing this. Or I have to do it this way because so-and-so is doing it this way. Or maybe so-and-so taught me it this way and that's the way I feel I have to do it, but it doesn't feel good to me, it, it doesn't feel right for me. Then don't do it. By all means, pick something that's feasible for you, that works for you, that feels good to you, and that actually is working for your business, that's growing your business. You know, we call them income producing activities. I don't think we need to get that formal, but income producing activities means that whatever you're doing in your business, and I don't care what it is, as long as you are focusing on it growing your business and that it's just not filling time, then it's worth it. It's worth it. If it's being done to potentially build your business, then it's worth it. So do not get overwhelmed about systems. Understand that you probably already have systems in place that you don't even realize. Sending thank yous, following up with somebody to see if they need refills, letting them know about a special that's going on, sending out samples, sending out mailings. You probably have systems in place you just don't have a specific timeline or way of doing it because it changes every time. Great. If it works for you, then do that, right? As long as you're consistently doing something, okay? I hope you found that helpful, and I hope I gave you permission to say that you don't do systems. <laughs> just kidding. You need to do something, right? You need to do something. Okay. Bye.